Kenny, another great victory, another great result. Yeah, it was. Um, first half was was 50-50 really. A lot of chances both ends, um, and um, you know I'm pleased to say we, we we scored the first goal with a with a great delivery from Ronan Curtis. It was excellent, right on the right on the nail, you know. And uh, for, for for Christian there, he will get more goals if we can put that type of quality in. Uh, but a very open first half anyway. Uh, second half though, I thought that. Uh, you know, we stepped on it and uh, deserved to win right from the start of the second half through to the end uh, with a better team and uh, pleased to say we got the second goal and got a clean sheet. But um, yeah, second half, very, very pleased. E excellent performance. How important a victory is that in the run of things? Yeah, they're all big ones, aren't they? And, and we've worked very hard to try to get back uh, some, somewhere near the, the top part of the table. Um, while the points total has, has suggested that the division's been open and it has for us, you know, we've had work to do. And, and you know, if we're looking forward now, which we always have to, you know, away from today and uh, see the position that we're in, we're in a good position and we want to capitalise on it. Again, set pieces are taking the stage. Yeah, they always are. And if, you, if you're looking at, you know, the power of a Sunderland side, Sunderland are a terrific club. Uh, Phil's done well since he's been there and, and they've got some very good players. You can see that. Uh, uh, but, you know, you do need to be, you know, physically strong enough to handle that. If you ever go do, do go into the championship, it's something that just is a given. You, ha you have to have that. Great for Christian to score on his 200th appearance in the Fratnan. Yeah, and congratulations to him. He's been, you know, part of the journey. Uh, and you know different, different legs, different aspects. Obviously, the League Two coming out of admin, and and, and in recent seasons anyway, coming into in, to, to League One and hopefully growing again, uh, um, improving ourselves. And and he's you know been a part of that as well. A very popular player uh, uh, here, and and at the moment anyway, got a good partnership with Raggett. Quite a lot of clean sheets and goals against is good. And and um, you know, pro you know pro probably in terms of you know him started scoring, but it's really been the the, the quality of the deliveries has changed. Yeah. Uh, Sean should have had one as well when um, Andy pulled it back to him I don't know quite how he missed that Does that come off the training pitch? Yeah it does but you know we do work hard on it uh, and but but for the first third of the season you know it didn't come to fruition uh, you know slightly different sort of dynamics really in terms of players that that, that has helped us and, and, and as I said you know it's a good thing that, that it's that it's um, uh, coming together at the right time of the season because you know, we have to look forward now. We have to make sure that um, um, uh, in terms of the, the, the players, uh, they should gain confidence, but realise that all different types of games, you know, from Lincoln away to Sunderland at home, you know, the big games, every single one, you have to be consistent, you have to be on it all of the time. And, and if you ever do get a setback, you have to have the mentality that you come again. For the first 20 minutes, they dominated and you came into the game slowly. Yeah, as I said, first half there was um, you know a lot of chances both ends. Uh, looked like you know the keeper made a great save, which could have been an OG as well from a le from a, a, um, a left wing cross from us. A and then you know the goal was was quality though, really good ball from Ronan Curtis. I thought it was an uh, you know, an excellent delivery. You know he's got that from the wide area and he's a key player for us and a very good player. So you know that was the the moment of quality that mattered in the, in the first half. Uh, many chances both ends, and uh, second half though I did think that um, we, you know we got on top and stayed on top and deserved the victory. And another defender, James Bolton, is on the end of another one. Yeah, he can get on the end of things. He's good in the air. You know, he is a powerful player if you're looking into his past. It's only been recent seasons. He moved out to right back and probably his, his non-league days, Gates said, he, you know, he was a, a centre-back anyway. So it is a player that uh, second one, you know, a, a key one at Fleetwood in the FA Cup as well and, and, and quite a key one today. So, you know, we're pleased for him because some niggly injuries, you know, stopped him early in his in his Portsmouth career. But um, both for him and Sean Raggett now, you know, they've put those injuries behind them. Uh, got a little bit of rhythm in the last uh, um, a couple of months and ho hopefully now coming somewhere to Towards their best form, turning out to be quite an exciting season. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, again, if you're looking ahead now, you know, first of February today, and, and you know, we have we have a, a big three months ahead of us, and, and, and we have to make sure we capitalise on how, how hard we've worked. We've all worked hard to try to get us, you know, somewhere near it, and, and uh, being able to, you know, look forward without having too much to make up, and, and, and similarly, two cup competitions as well. So, big challenge. You know, won't be an easy one, definitely. And, and uh, if the crowd were like they were today, they were fantastic and got right behind the players and played a big part in it. So, uh, we have to. Make sure we look forward and, and um, capitalise on the hard work that we've, we've all done. Uh, and and uh, if we can, uh, uh, try, try, try to keep pushing forward with some, with some consistency.